theme and gameplay are separate concepts, but more and more nowadays game designers are trying to intermix them. Why do we do this, and have games benefited from the result? Now, when I say theme, what I mean is the concept or message of the game. This is what a game is about, and at least in my opinion, a game should be about something. Now, the gameplay is how we interact with the game. This could mean miniatures, dice, or simply just the types of social interactions that exist within the game space. Let's start with the gameplay elements involved in, as an example, a dungeon crawl. This example might include exploration, as players gain perfect information about the world, the facts around them, and imperfect information such as a room description that doesn't include traps. They interact with their environment, this might be dealing with those traps, conversing with or combating other forces. They make decisions, and they interact with other players. Now the theme need not necessarily be related to any of those specific tasks. In the example I just described, perhaps they were trying to portray the hero's journey, and that is not something that really can be expressed through gameplay in any way that I know specifically. But as I alluded to earlier, designers more and more nowadays are trying to intermix the theme and the gameplay. This is most obviously seen in video games where controllers may be attempting to portray realistic controls like in a driving game or some music games, as well rhythm games and movement sensors are making use of the player's body more and more with, for example, the dance games, the Wii Kinetic Connect, and the Move. LARPs, it would seem, have always been built on this idea, but they're certainly taking things further and further nowadays. For example, there was a Battlestar Galactica LARP in Gothenburg, Sweden earlier this year, and that took place on board a destroyer with players using uniforms. And tabletop RPGs have been starting to go down this path as well. Dread, for example, attempts to combine the theme of horror with the gameplay of pulling from a Jenga tower, hoping to create a stronger sense of anxiety in the player. On the other hand, a game like like Don't Rest Your Head, attempts to portray a theme of desperation and pushing oneself to their limits. And they do this by putting the player's control over how much power they are willing to take, and that power carries with it a tremendous risk. The decisions that they make in-game are what will most likely end their own character. The big question seems to be, does this make games better? And on this, I can only really offer you my opinion. In some cases, the intermixing of gameplay and theme can make a game that is more interesting and much more focused. Although, sometimes, along the way, the gameplay may no longer be fun. Relevant links are below, and as always, I hope that your next game is even better than your last.